Good evening, Coach. Questions for Coach Stevens? We'll go to Keith Smith first. Hey, Brad, it, you guys had uh, 27 assists on, I think it was 40 baskets tonight. It seemed like the ball and player movement was pretty good from the beginning. Is that more what you want to see from the guys on a night-to-night -night basis? Yeah, no question. No question. Um, guys really, I thought, played with a great mindset today. They shared it, played with good purpose, good passion, like good togetherness. It was a step in the right direction um, for sure, And but, you know, um, to put a, you know, put a few weeks or a month or two months together, um, where it's like that. And, um, you know, we'll be making good progress. Up next, John Corrales. Brad, a lot of this, uh, a lot of it came from defense first and then ball movement. Um, is this sort of like, what, what's your... What's your uh, reaction after a game like this? Is it relief that they, they finally put a game like this together? Is there an I told you so? Like, this is how we're supposed to do it from, from the beginning? It takes teams time. It takes teams time, John, for a number of reasons. Sometimes it comes quick to teams. Sometimes it comes, you know, at different stages of the season, and some teams never get it. Um, but, you know, the goal is to, you know, find your best version. It's clear that we can't do it. Um, you know, with three guys at once, with four guys at once, with two guys at once, with one guy. We have to do it with all five on every possession on both ends of the floor. And that's just the focus. That's what we're talking about. You know, I, I thought that um, we played with the right, you know, I knew we would play well today. You know, after yesterday, I just, you know, I knew we would play well. Um, now, I didn't know if shots would go in and you never know with them whether shots will go in, but um, I felt good about, you know, we're going to be fine if we stick to this. Now we just have to, you know, go on this road trip and see if we can't take it on the road. Adam Himmelsbach. Hey, Brad, you guys haven't shot as many threes this year as you have in the past. Obviously tonight you shot a ton of them. Is that kind of a, a point of emphasis or was that more just – what you, were, you guys were seeing out there and what was open tonight? Or is that something you think has to kind of increase as the season goes on? Well, I think for sure our shot profile this year has not been as good as it needs to be. And we've talked about that. Um, and we've tried, and, you know, two of the past three games, I think we've, we've tried to we, – we've been better. Um, but I think, um, Adam, that, that's got to improve. You know, I think people mistake that for shoot a lot of threes. We're trying to get layups. We're trying to get dunks. We're trying to drive the ball. Um, but historically, Steve Clifford's teams in Orlando are some of the better at pulling in and protecting the rim and protecting the paint, which means you have to kick it out. So we knew that with that, and then they went under some screens, um, both ball screens and off the ball screens, you have to make shots to beat Orlando. You have to make shots to beat that team. And um, so you have to have a mentality that when you're open, you're going to let it go. I thought our guys, even though we shot that many, I thought, you know, almost all of them were um, right time, right shot. There were a couple that we all can certainly talk about, but most of them were right time, right shot. Brian Robb. Hey, Brad, that was actually the magic shot. That was the lowest uh, field goal percentage for a team against you guys this year. Um, is that reflective of what the kind of defense that you guys felt you played tonight or – uh, like how engaged did you guys feel you were in that end? I thought we were really engaged against Sacramento on that end too. Um, I feel like we've improved in some ways. I, you know, sometimes you go through these games and you're like, are we in one of these streaks where guys are making like some of these late shot clock or super tough shots? Orlando had a couple of them in the first quarter there that are like, you know, you, you don't want to get in your mind, here we go again, right? You'd want to just stay the course and play the right way. But it does come down to you guard it as well as you can, and then you realize these are the world's best players. Sometimes they make awfully difficult shots. But, you know, I think our defense structurally is improving. Um, and so, you know, I'm encouraged about that, but I'm not, you know, I, I'm not too um, ready to compliment us all that much. Brian? 
Hey, Brad, I um, want to ask you about the fourth quarter and you know what you saw there, particularly as the lead shrunk and the way that you guys responded in that where you talked before about guys getting down on themselves in those circumstances and the fact that you didn't have an, oh, here we go again type of a mentality yeah. it appears. Good teams with good players, good coaches, They there's runs, they make comebacks, and that's why you just have to move on to the next play. You have to have the – the teamness to do that. You have to have the individual resolve to do that. And, you know, this team has been in a funk in some ways with that stuff. And, but that's not who they are. I mean, we've, we've watched these guys play. A lot of these guys play for a long time. We've seen what they do um, when their backs are against the wall. We know that they compete. There's never been a question of that. And I think so. You just have to do that as a team when things aren't going well. When you're kind of in that funk, you stop thinking about yourself and start leaning on each other. We'll wrap it up right there. Safe travels, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.